Chad Trofkerman here from IncredibleTutorials.com. Today I'm going to go over the quick selection tool in Photoshop. Now in my last tutorial I went over the magic wand tool which is actually kind of similar to this one except this one can make your life a lot easier in certain circumstances. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what it does. The first thing we need to do is select it obviously and that is on our toolbar and it's the fourth um, option down. And it shares that section with the magic wand tool so you might need to click your mouse button down to select it. So once you've done that I'm going to point out that you can actually have a brush size for this one. So it's like the paintbrush tool and all that kind of stuff or the eraser tool. And so you can adjust the width of the brush right up here. Or if you prefer you can go ahead and use the brackets to adjust the brush just like you would any other brush. So once you get a size that you want, and we don't want it too big, but about that size for the image I'm working on, I'm just gonna go ahead and click once. And when I do that, you'll see that it selects that entire petal with just one click. So it's actually kind of amazing. Now what I'm going to do is click and hold down my mouse button like as if I was drawing and I'm just going to kind of just circle the flower here really quick and as I do this you can see that it just selects the entire flower it just you know sticks to it like a magnet and I'm just going to come down here to my stem I'm going to reduce my brush size a bit here and just click once and there you go it is all selected now, if you watched my first tutorial on the lasso tool, it took me like several minutes to select this entire thing. And even then the results were not very good because I wasn't very steady and it was just kind of hard to draw around this thing. So let's just go ahead really quick and let's command or control C if you're on a PC to copy the flower. And I'm just gonna bring it over to an image here really quick and just paste it in. And you can see the results are pretty good. There's not really too many defects on the flower. I mean, it could use a little bit of editing, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and try this on a more advanced um, or complex picture, I should say. So let's come over here to this one with this idiot jumping, I guess. And I'm going to select the tool again. And let's just kind of go through and draw and click and see what happens here. So I'll start like down here-ish and I'll just kind of start drawing up going like this. Come down here. And you'll notice that I um, kind of went outside but I will show you how to correct that in a second here. So we'll just kind of come in and keep drawing. <clears throat> Kind of come up here, up here. Okay, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna zoom in down here to show you guys how to correct that um, bigger selection that we want to reduce. So I'm going to hold in my command or control key in my space bar and they'll temporarily bring up my zoom in tool. I'm just gonna zoom in here really quick and I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of my brush and now I'm going to hold in the alt key and you'll notice that brings up a minus sign in the center of my brush that means I can reduce so I'm going to click in the area that I don't want to be selected so I'm just going to kind of click around here and you'll see it's reducing it as I go along here just kind of come in and try to get that reduced like that and it kind of cut off a little bit here so I'm just going to reduce my brush even further just going to come in there and touch that up a bit like that and right here could use a little bit of touching up too and I'm going to then move up now we have the hands which are of course a bit more detailed so let's go ahead and just try to touch that up too so I'm just going to hold in the alt key here and try to reduce this area a bit and click here to get this thumb selected fingers and so on and I can keep going here and just keep touching and touching things up here and 
selecting different things and all that kind of stuff. But I think you guys can get the basic idea of how this tool works. So I probably don't need to go too much further. But anyway, <clears throat> that's pretty much how the tool works. It's, it's really great in certain situations, as I said. And um, it's really great for simple stuff. And it is a big time saver for stuff like this more complex stuff because again if you're using for instance a regular lasso tool it would take a very long time it takes a lot of you know concentration to draw through all that so with this coupled with the other selection tools I'm sure you can select things very precisely in a very easy manner I have more tutorials coming so until the next tutorial I'll see you guys then